Welcome to CNC Machinist Made Easy. My name is Matt. I am talking today about peck drilling. We recently went through a s small video on center drilling. Peck drilling is extraordinarily similar. In fact, let me show you how similar. This is our last video, as you can see. I'm trying to play around with these this mouse and get colors and whatnot. But we had a part we were uh, drilling a hole at the X and uh, 1 and Y, one location. Uh, and we went through, remember I told you, uh, this is essentially, it will be your first hole location. I thought about it, and for this video, I did change it because it just, it, it's, you're not going to drill a hole in a situation like this at X0, Y0. I did explain myself in the last one, but this is the video we went through uh, uh, recently on JD1. How, 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 how similar it will be, you will see, as it's JD1, R value, rapid 2, the depth of and the feed rate of your locations and then you're retracting here's how similar it is you had g81 before now you have g83 g83 means peck drill your r value is the same rapid 2.1 this will be extremely easy if you memorize the last one now we have uh the z value same exact thing, except we're going down one inch now. Imagine this plate is three quarters of an inch, and you want to poke through it. You want to tell your machine you're going down one inch. The feed rate is the same. However, we do have a Q here now. A Q is one we did not have. We had three variables in the G81. The G83 requires a Q, which is just like it says, it's pecking. So when you're pecking down, it will peck 100 thousandths, 200 thousandths, 300 and it'll retract back up to the R value and that'll allow the chip to break and the coolant to come in and your head will go up and down and up and down and it, taking 100 more thousands until it completes its final one inch below the surface at that feed rate. I did change this location from our G81 video just to make it a little easier to display to you. This will be my first location up here X1 Y1. Now you can see I don't need to change the Y if the next one is still y1 so i just need to put x2 and it'll automatically drill that this right here if you've done your homework and done our last video is the identical same thing g0 g90 g80 z3 point and m9 as you had in our g81 video now you can send a drill from our last video and you can peck drill that is how similar it is thank you for watching cnc machinists made easy my name is matt have a great day